Yeah, so I'm Marco Donnarumma. Um, I'm based in London. Um, I'm, I'm a new media artist and sound artist. Um, mostly, I don't even like the word artist, so like obsessively curious person about things. And um, I work with, with biophysical music um, and um, use the body as, as a means of, of expression. Um, Idled by computers, and um, I collaborate since some time now with uh, with Sark, uh, so that's why we are here together. Uh, I'm Anna Weisling, and I'm currently in the States, and I work with mostly visual art, and um, primarily at this moment uh, using visuals in a musical sense and how to connect the two and if they can be connected successfully how do you do that and I've been collaborating with these guys for a few weeks uh, I was a student at SARC uh, Miguel was my teacher and kind of started collaborating from there I'm Miguel Ortiz um, <coughs> I work at the Sonic Arts Research Center in uh, Queen's University, Belfast. Uh, I started working with um, uh, physiological signals for uh, real-time music making a few years ago. Um, I use a lot of different things, um, brain waves, uh, heart monitors, uh, muscular tension. Uh, today we used um, a variety of things. Um, I mean, I, I like to use, um, at some point I randomly decided that the body can be an electronic music instrument and my research focuses on trying to explore and find out what type of music that instrument wants to play. That's together and essentially connecting these two. Um, I mean, orally they're already connected because the sound is mixing in the room, but how to visually connect them and kind of keep that, um, the data connection that they were sending, uh, keep their individual personalities with the visuals, but also create a bridge between the two of them. Um, so I worked to have their data individually controlling the two sources of lines that would eventually grow towards each other. And using their, uh, their muscle activity and also uh, recordings of their heart rates, um, that was kind of how I generated and drove the, the course of the piece and also some intervention on my end. Yeah, so they said most of it, but yeah, the idea is, uh, is, is embodied quite well in the name of, of the project, which is Liminal Corpus. Uh, so liminal means when, when two entities or more entities are independent, but still crossing over each other and intertwining with each other. Um, so we, we took these ideas of liminality and, and applied it to our biological body. Uh, so what, what, what Anna said and uh, what Miguel said, so we were using uh, this instrument that I designed that's called Accents, 
which basically capture muscle sound, um, like like the heartbeat. It's a muscle sound. Uh, so there is the same sound in, in all your body when you move. Um, so it's it's a really good mean uh, um, to to inform the body's expressivity. And uh, with with the collaboration with Anna, we kind of sublimate this, uh, um, making it visual and uh, trying to visualize this liminality of our bodies performing at the same time. more of a performer in the, in the sense of performance art. Uh, I come from a musical background. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, I, I feel more like just playing an instrument. And there is certain gestures and certain movements uh, that are not really planned or done uh, as a means of expression. But just that's the, the type of movements I need to do to get the sounds I want to hear. Uh, and the idea for, for us to collaborate, uh, I mean, it's, it's been a very interesting experience because uh, this uh, small world of uh, working with uh, physiological signals with just uh, the body is actually quite small still at the moment. There's, there's very few people that have um, a trajectory of, of really iterating uh, on doing research on this type of uh, work pioneered maybe by Atau Tanaka, who is now Marco's supervisor uh, at the university in, in Goldsmiths. And there are all these kind of different styles. And I think it's probably the first time uh, two performers doing muscle activity, uh, you know, as a solo, per as a solo muscle uh, performance. It's probably what the first, or one of the first times that this happened. And uh, we thought that would be very interesting using this, the exact same instrument uh, because I used Marcos design instead of what I use normally so it was a bit of a challenge of you know we have the same palette but then our performance styles are completely different and trying to uh, again uh, with this liminal corpus idea uh, keep some individuality and each one in their style but bring, uh, make something that, that holds together. Thank <laughs> you. 